What's up, Internet? Kevin here with TLD, bringing you our unboxing of the Final Fantasy XIII II Collector's Edition, which we just picked up for the PS3. And as you can see, the Collector's Edition for Final Fantasy is a little more minimalist, just a plain basic white cover with a game description on the back. Now, one of the first things we notice once we open up the Collector's Edition is one of my biggest personal pet peeves, the fact that the Collector's Edition box also serves as the game's case. Uh, I personally like to have a normal case for the game to go into so I can put it with the rest of my games and have all the Collector's Edition stuff on the side. It's a little annoying when it's always grouped together like this for me. Now, right next to the game itself, we also have the instruction manual, as well as the track listing for the game's soundtrack, which we'll get to in just a moment. Then, as part of the game's case, we also have a small art section, which isn't so much of an art book as it is just a few select pieces of concept art put in together with the case. It's nice to have, but I would have appreciated having an actual art book to have separate from the game's case. Now, last but not least, we have the main purpose of the Collector's Edition, the game's soundtrack, which spans a full four discs, making it absolutely massive compared to most Collector's Edition soundtracks. Now, that was just a quick unboxing of the Final Fantasy XIII II Collector's Edition. As you can see, it's a pretty simple one. Not one of the best, but definitely good picking up for those of you that are hardcore fans of the series. If you guys haven't gotten a chance yet, make sure to check out my other unboxing video from earlier for Soul Calibur V's Collector's Edition, and stay tuned for when we have our first looks at both games. As always, guys, thanks for watching our videos. If you want to be extra awesome, make sure to hit that like button, and I'll catch you guys later.